Hey guys, welcome back to Vitamin 1. So today is Monday, it means we are using Burning Abyss Eval. And, uh, my likeness of Burning Abyss and, and my ideal that it's like, it's the top deck of the format is definitely going down. Shadal's definitely, definitely passed it up in my heart of the top deck. And the reason why, and uh, this is just for right, probably for right wow, for right now. And it might uh, actually change as time progresses, and, you know, with the you know, with Virgil coming out. But for right now, uh, the deck just doesn't have any bite to it. You know, you know, without without ranking up into Pleiades, the the deck is kind of just meh. Yeah, you know? it really is. Wow, that would have been really helpful for me since I freaking drew like all the bells. So. Uh, at least I do not get night, so that fucking helps, but just wow, alright. You know, you know, Dante Dante ain't much of anything, you know, he's the nice twenty five beater, you know. He just doesn't do anything. You know, that's that you know, the deck needs some bite, it needs to put some teeth in its mouth, and right now it really doesn't got any teeth in its mouth besides drinking up in the Pleiades, which isn't even your card. So, you know, the only, the only way you can get some damn offense up in here is if you use someone else's card. I think that's kind of embarrassing. You know, rank up into Constellar Pleiades. Const not not Burning Abyss Pleiades. Constellar Pleiades. Like, that's pretty sad. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I just think it's kind of sad that, you know, that's the route that, uh, that Burning Abyss are going down currently just because they don't got any bite. Of course, with... Virgil, they'll of course get some teeth in the mouth because Virgil has more offensive cards. So that's good, but of course you can't tour guide into the, into Virgil. You can't do it like that, so that might be a little bit more complicated. Yeah, so they might have to work on that. Go ahead and get my effect on and summon you. And what do you do? Most card is sent. To the graveyard, I can spend some in one burning abyss monster from my deck. Ooh, okay. Well, I'll probably do you, because I'll summon Scrum. Sc Scram? Scarm? 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 Um, never mind, you're gonna die automatically anyway. Alright, so. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Effect. Summon one from my deck. I'm gonna summon Scarm. And then he'll go. And then he'll go. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Just like ah, yeah. ah, yeah. <laughs> like no one gets to left. I'll go ahead and do that. Calm effect. Oh wow. Both of them, Pyramid Eternal shit. I, I knew I got one, but I didn't think I was gonna get both. So of course, we're gonna go ahead and get Tour Guide to the hand. And Tour Guide will go ahead and summon us and summon us a Dante, who will, of course, keep attention. I just need to whip out two Dante. And pretty much this deck right now, instead of just the Pleiades plays, the, right now I need to do is get out two Dantes so I can go Dante attack, Terra Wipe, summon the other Dante, Dante attack, and keep. Touching each other. That's pretty much the best that this deck can pull up right now. Like I said, uh, I did put in Crane Crane because, uh, why did I put in Crane Crane? Um, because I'm preparing the deck for the tuner. So, you know, I'm getting used to Crane Crane. Crane Crane is really good in this deck. You know? Yeah. And, and definitely it's gonna, you know, promote, um, promote, um, Oh, okay. You reveal it and send it to the graveyard to draw one more card, I guess. That's kind of lame. I really thought that. That was really lame and anticlimactic. Alright, so I need. Um, well, not Graf. Not Graf. Uh, what's his name? Sir? I'm still trying to get used to all their names. So I'm gonna go ahead and summon to a guide. Effect. Yeah, crane crane, definitely. Uh, that's gonna be probably the best way to um, go into Virgil. Just you know, send the tuner to the graveyard as soon as quick as possible, probably mathematician or something. And go ahead and just go crane crane, summon it back, make a Virgil. Because of course you can't go tour guide because this part right here, if I can get it, and it cannot be used as a synchro um, material monster. So tour guide pretty much just says, hey, yeah, no. 
All right, we're gonna go ahead and summon Skarm. Go ahead and overlay into, of course, Dante. And then the one thing that I don't like about this deck, which is, of course, milling, but. And we'll go one, two, three. Its effect is negated by Tuer Guide. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, well, that was kind of a shitty mill, but nah, 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 it wasn't too terrible. I didn't mill any like Limit Reverse or anything like that, so. Don't take go ahead and attack for 25. And what is this effect? This card. This card's in there. You could target one of the much in your grip, accept this card, and add it to your hand. Okay. No, he's 25. He's 25. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Alright, so. You will go ahead and get me another tour guide. Not getting any of my rank ups, another thing. There's another play that I could do with this deck, and then, uh, this card is sent to the graveyard. You could target one burning this card in your graveyard. Accept this card and add it to your hand. Um, uh, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and add graph. Go ahead. Okay, so now I need to start the loop. The soft loop. Which is pretty much going tour guide, tour guide, summon, um, Sir. Sir, make a Dante. Oh, well, there's Sir right there. Wouldn't Sir die anyway? Nah. Alright, uh, tour guide. Effect. Go ahead and summon a Sir. Gra grab, Sir. Because, uh, this is the effect right here. Probably burning this monster in your graveyard and special summon that target, so. Sir. Overlay into, of course, Dante. Actually, you know what? I could go for Zen Mains. Now I'm gonna go for Zen Mains. I'll just blow up my own Terror and summon Ultimate. I'm cool right now. I'm up on resources, so. I would detach, sir. Blow up your monster. Zen effect, sir effect. Uh, I think I missed timing, but I'm not sure. Cause I I don't think Yubel was the last thing to resolve, but it doesn't matter. Why did I put you in attack mode? I would defeat you in defense mode. What's wrong with you? Go ahead and defense mode. <sighs> Let me see. Those Zen effects, sir. Zen would destroy. Sir effect. Zen main so terror white. Detach. Zen main's effect, because it still be during the end phase, would destroy the terror. And then Sir would get his effect, terror effect? I don't know, I think I missed timing. You guys are probably correct me, but I think I missed timing. I think, because I don't think the last thing to resolve is terror's effect. I think the last thing to resolve it would be uh, Ultimate Nightmare Summon. So I think I do miss timing. Huh, oh well. Yeah, I don't really care. Ultimate Nightmare Attack. Fat. Routine. Thousand. Hmm. 
Go ahead. Like I said, I think I missed timing on that, but I don't care. <laughs> And it's actually kind of bothering me. I try not to treat him pretty big strict on the rules, but sometimes I just don't know how shit interacts. You probably should have tested it on Dark Pro or something before I did a play like that, but... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember when Mizuki was hit on the list? Damn, we're just slowly just taking off shit off the list. We're like, nope, this ain't getting me more, take it off. This ain't getting me more, take it off, take it off, take it off, take it off. Just moving a shit ton of shit. Ah. Who would have thought Regeki would have ever came back? That was like, that car was like banned on like one of the first lists on Yu Gi Oh! And, you know, who would have thunk Regeki coming off ban? I'm still not a big fan of that. And like I said, I'd, I'd give you two dark holes before giving you a get Regeki. At least you have to be wise with the damn dark hole. It's like Heavy Storm versus Heavy Feather Duster. It's like, hmm, I don't want to play this Heavy Storm right now because I got a whole bunch of back room, but so does he. Draw until Harpy's Feather. Harpy's Feather Master? I don't give a shit. Your back row's gone. I still got mine. You know, it's like, it's, you know, it's kind of an exaggerated sense because, you know, back row's much harder. To, you know, replicate and bring back them monsters, and the reason why they probably brought back Regekis because they're just like, oh, well, you know, destruction's not good right now, and they'll never be good, apparently, because we plan on keep on making Dex that float, because that's our, apparently that's our cash cow, is Dex that float, because all the things that Konami wants to make nowadays is Dex that float, so we can just bring Regeki back. No, no, <laughs> I'm sorry, no. It's because it's good, not good right now doesn't mean it'll never be good. And you act like Regeki's just the world's worst Yu-Gi-Oh card. No, it's not. You can steal Regeki in OTK, yeah. Exactly right now. If I had Dark Hole right now, that wouldn't be the wisest play. But if I have Regeki right now, sure, why, why the hell not, you know? Just... Eh, eh, I'm not Konami. I, I don't know. Maybe they know something I don't, but... Nah. There's just a couple things on this current pan list where I'm just like, no... No, you know, I don't like, I don't like Regeki coming back, I don't like Soul Charge being at one, I don't like Ceasefire going up to two, I don't like Wolf, well, well, I don't mind Wolf Park going back up to three, I just don't understand why you did it. Okay, so wait, let me get this straight. So during your draw phase, that, and then you do, whatever, I'm, okay, uh, you guys didn't know this, but uh, Mizuki can activate during the draw phase, you didn't know that, did you? Yeah, now you do, pretty cool, huh? Defense. And no, you can't change it. <laughs> Should we two? What the fuck? Okay. Let me turn. When the win this card or even if I'm not sure if I'm sure. you can target one face up monster your opponent controls whose attack is higher than this card and equip it yeah yeah you can't equip me I'm zero you can't equip none of my monsters they're all weaker than you <laughs> hello all of them are weaker than you. All of them. That was really anticlimactic. We turned two for that. Okay. Let's 
So now what? You just want to give up? I'm literally just going to take... You can attack then mains, but I'll pop you. You can... Still doesn't have more attack than you. None of my monsters have more attack than you. <laughs> None of them. You don't get to take shit. You're just gonna quick all my monsters on the field. None of them. Zero, fifteen, and one thousand. You're two thousand. And when you attack me during the damage step, you go up to twenty-five. I remember that in your short spell, which is fine. See, this stuff doesn't have much bite to it. At least right now, anyway. Yeah, this guy's having that epiphany over here. Huh, <sighs> well, man, I would keep bed. I'm tired. I gotta wake up early in the morning. Watch the final episode of Common Matter Dime. I'm gonna miss that show. This is such a good cover of our series. So good. But, eh. Um, you know you just still need to revive. You have to nick your targets first. Okay, whatever. You can have that. Because literally, you have to go activate Book of Life, select your target, select my target. If I go chain Limit Reverse and I grab my target back, you have to banish the summon. So if I grab your target back, your Book of Life would fizzle. But, yeah, it's fine. Mm-hmm. What you call him? Uh... Okay. Did you get your field spell back? Dante's ass is too juicy. You can't get around Dante's ass. Alright, some back you bell. Can I get some rank up magic up in here? <laughs> Please? Seriously, I haven't got some rank up at all. Crank crane too good. Oh, I still got a tour guide. Mm hmm. Seriously, like, this is the second time since this deck has been on here that I'm not getting rank up when I need it. If I could just rank up into Pleiades, I would have this done by now, but I can't. Ah. Uh. I did not know no it was targeted it had to your hand. I thought it was like summon it back to the field, but I guess not. So that is that to your hand, okay. Well these two are gonna get killed, but then and Dante's gonna get killed as well. And then he's gonna come back. And then I have like no way of dealing with anything right now. I shouldn't have done this play, but oh well. Okay, like I said, this deck has no fucking bite to it. Ah, uh, fuck it.
I have too many cards in my hand, so I'll go ahead and drop you. Go ahead. It's mandatory. If it wasn't mandatory, I wouldn't have done it because you would have clearly forgot about it, but it's mandatory, so. He wasn't equipped. The Vampire Vamp wasn't equipped with anything, so. Oh. Sorcerer. Sure. <sighs> Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck I'm going to do. Like I said, this deck has no fucking bite. Okay. Are you going to exceed like Adrius or something? Or Bram? Bram? Like I said, if I could just draw rank up magic astral force. As like I said, this is all this deck really is. Just rank up magic astral force. I don't rank up magic astral force. I can't do anything. This door would be over if I had rank up magic astral force. So I can go into one of my favorite monsters in all of you, Gale, please. But like I said, if rank up mag magic astral force never existed, I just wouldn't see burning up being doing much. No bite. I have no bite. They need. They need Virgil. <laughs> they need it. It's pretty evident right now that they need Virgil. Nice twenty-five beer that can spin shit back. No, oh, yeah, that sounds great. <sighs> I don't know what the fuck you're doing. You're like all up in my graveyard and shit. Okay, you summon that, you're gonna XC or something? You're gonna freaking overlay? You're gonna go for Bram? You're gonna go for. That's probably what you're looking in my graveyard for. You're looking for something to equip, but. Go ahead. Like I said, there ain't much in there. Just don't be stupid and freaking equip my, one of my burning abyss, because that'd be stupid. It's just from this card is sent to the graveyard, so as soon as I make you unequip that shit. Or no, you revive one of my monsters, right? I can't remember what Bram does. I think it. Duh, I have my own fucking extra deck. I'm gonna look at him. Bram! You know what? That's 10th one. Try to go monster your opponent. Scrape that fist on the chief side of the field if you do. Only oh, monster can attack for a good turn. You're going to go. Okay. 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 Sure. Uh huh. Take whoever you want. You can have that. You can have that. There ain't much you can take, really. There's no one that's really good enough you really want to take. You can take your bell. You can take Dante. You can take Zangman. Like I said, there ain't nothing in there that I don't care. You can take. You can summon. I don't care. Just gonna kill it anyway, if it tear anyway, so I don't care. Ugh, this video is lasting a lot longer than I anticipated it to. I did not want this video to last that long. I said I'm tired, I wanna go to bed. <sighs> oh, it's like 10.30. I'm a lightweight. <laughs> I wake up early and go to sleep early. That's how I am. And if it's on the weekend, sure. You gonna give me that detach? Thank you. 
Okay, you summoned the tour guide. Yay! Now what? <laughs> I said, now what? Really, really anticlimactic. The only tour guide can attack, but you summoned a defense mode, so. I guess we're not attacking me. I have her on the field anyway, but still. Alright, I was anticlimactic as fuck. Eh. Okay. Uh No. No. We can know that means. Yes. Exact. Wipe everything. Is that an effect? Sir, effect. I'll go ahead and pop one of your face downs and I'll summon Dante again. No, it's just no veil. Alright, go ahead. You gonna get him? No, I have to, do I have to get him? Is the effect mandatory? Uh, during the next session, it's turning off this coffee show. I have to ask for some. Yes, it is. It is mentory. Go. You can put in a defense or attack something, but his effect is mandatory. So you can tie baby sitting you on this damn door. So literally, until I get fucking ring cup magic. <sighs> Hey, sure I can do. Huh. You gonna attack him in the Dante? Cool story, bro. I'll just go ahead and have to one of my burning the best back to my hand. Fucking terror, I need to get you off the field. Okay, you going into the battle phase? You gonna attack something or what? Okay. I need rank up, please. Please, I wanna rank up. I don't care about anything else but your back row right now. Please? God damn it! Come on! Where is fucking rank up magic? Like, why? I can't fucking do anything until I get some rank up magic astral bitch up in this. Please. Hey, shit I can do. This deck has no bite until I get some rank up, rank up magic fucking shitty force. Oh. Something this kind Oh, I'm seeing it now. So Dante goes, I get Sir. Sir goes to the graveyard, I get Dante, and they go back and forth. I get it now. That's cute. <sighs> Seriously can't do anything. Until I get rank up. I need rank up. Oh. 
<sighs> Can I please get some rank up in here? That's all I want is some rank up. If I can just get fucking rank up. Watch me draw rank up. Wow, still no rank up. I'm to myself, put Diamond Dire Wolf in here. I have Diamond Dire, I can just go Debris, so I'm back into cast. Diamond Dire Wolf, Diamond Dire Wolf, destroy this, destroy. Yep. Need Diamond Dire Wolf. Bad. Can I do shit right now? I cannot do shit. How many warriors do I have left? I should have one more Armageddon Knight. Watch. Yep. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. I said, what's the next card be rank of Magic Ash, of course? Motherfucker. Awesome. You'll die. Uh, can't do anything until I get rank of magic. Effects. And give me that tour guide. Please, please, one of you, please. Please. I'm trying to deck them, like, forever. Doesn't it go back to being banished? When this card leaves the field, destroy and banish that target. My target is destroy and destroy this card. Okay, yes. the fuck is that? Doesn't it say vampire card? You can add one to, or one vampire spell or trap card from your deck to your hand. One dark one. Was that even a vampire card? I didn't even see it. I didn't even see it. Well, of course. I'll be discarding Sir. And I'll be discarding on again, Knight. Sir Hack. I mean, I guess it won't look as a vampire because it has a vampire. I'm surprised that someone didn't fucking know that he didn't argue me with about that. Yeah, it has a vampire on it. Like, <laughs> that's fine. Go ahead. I said, can I just get some rank up fucking in this bitch? Just a little bit of rank up in my life. Uh, excuse me. What? What? No. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Bram is a rank. You can't overlay 
<laughs> oh my god. And oh. Okay. Uh, oh my god. You can <laughs> what? No, you can't do that. No, 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 no. You can still get your Shadow of the Empire effect, of course. Just because there was still normal summons, correct? Yeah. Yeah, can't be normal summon without tribute. Shadow of the Empire effect, summon one from your deck, that's fine. So all I need is rank up fucking Magic Astro Force. Can't do shit without it. I know that's his fucking one uh, vampire takeover card. So I don't have to worry about that, because of course he does have a uh, filled spout. So, yeah. Just, oh my god. Please, rank up. Please. Sure, I don't care. I just need to fucking get this one fucking card. It's really sad, really. This video is on on for fucking 30 fucking minutes because I can't get rank up magic Astro Force. I'm like the fucking most unlucky burning of this player in the world. Like, come on. Where is that rank up magic Astro Force? If I could run the fucking 10 to rank up magic Astro Force, I would. This is because this deck, this deck can whip out Dante consistently. I just can't get the fucking rank up magic Astro Force. Come on, I want to go to bed, retired, this duel is going on forever. Fucking forever, I don't care, take whatever you want. There's nothing in there that's even remotely decent. I apologize that I can't even fucking do this, pl I can't do anything right now. If I would get Rank Up Magic, I would end it literally, if I just draw Rank Up Magic right the fuck now, sure, have it. Is it effects negated? Well, one detach. Evil effect. <sighs> Specs aren't gonna get it. Okay. Thank you. Fucking thank you. Thank you. I mean, I already know what it is, but I'm gonna go ahead and space it anyway. It's that fucking vampire tank over shit. I said I already knew what it was. Thank you, fucking thank you. That's all I wanted. That's all I fucking wanted. Thank you. Swear to God. Attack. GG. God. <clears throat> fucking 30, 40 minutes. Just because fucking rank up magic. Like, please. Please. My kingdom for rank up magic is extraordinary. G fucking G. I don't care if you go up to 3,000. You still take 3,000. Thank you. Oh my god. Good. Now I can end this fucking video. God. Uh, that this deck has no bite. None. <laughs> it's it literally this, all this deck is is fucking back row and rank up magic. Without those two things, this deck can't do shit. And of course, I'm trying to. You know, not run any back row in these kind of decks and vitamin Y because I don't want to. I want to rely on the strength of my monster effects. So I'm not running back row and that of course means that this deck, unless I get rank up magic, and I really can't do shit. And it's pretty evident that I really couldn't do shit. Ah, I need Virgil stat. Give me Virgil. Alright. We'll go ahead and call up. So, so thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. And I'll see you guys tomorrow using Plague Ghost Bell, a deck that actually has bite to it, actually has offense. See you guys tomorrow.